So I keep having the same nightmares every time I close my eyes. But the most unsettling element to this is that I felt unaffected by them when awake. By the persistent dreams that taunt my rest Because I have learned to walk head down with heavy nails That practice their acupuncture on me And they're not very good at it either And I would say that I have endurance But I don't want to recognize that my mental stability Is only dependent on the fact that it hasn't crumbled Beneath hammers hanging by a loose thread yet Now, I don't have doubt for myself but I say I am like a walking peg game only because these burdens take each other in stride. And when I say these burdens take each other in stride, I mean these burdens take time to taper off. You see, I have learned a persistence from every next day because as my mind sifts through the grains of what some sandman has left, I still have what I can already open my eyes to. And yeah, I guess I might be a little impatient, but if there's one thing I've learned about reassurance is that it's fortified by prophecies, you know, things that will happen but just aren't occurring at the moment. So yes, I am full of eagerness to know why everything I want to happen I must look forward to, and maybe I'm just difficult to please. And if you think this of me, I'm sorry. But you see, I don't look at a glass with water in it to see if it's half empty or half full. I'm looking for an apparition of myself in the reflection that tells me how to stop surviving by what's bearable and live without looking into how my joy is conjugated or how hard it is to find. But I also don't believe recognizing how murky the water is means I'm swallowing myself in it. It just means that I am more observant than I wish sometimes. And isn't that a hard story to tell? So I'm not going to. And I don't know if that makes me appreciative for letting go or defeated for falling to that numb persistence. And I don't know why when trying to expand my knowledge it seems it has become harder to diversify my perception. I would hope that knowledge and perception are congruent, but I guess that's just another pair that takes each other in stride.